Hello world. Today I am going to share the main reason because of which I decided to move from Windows to Linux. As I have mentioned in my previous video as well, I have always been fascinated by Linux and the free and open source movement. However, for me the turning point came in late 2021 when I truly started daily driving Linux, specifically Debian. During this period, I was working at a company that operated entirely on Linux. It was a pivotal moment in my technological exploration. Though I used Windows operating system on my personal computer, I was also using Linux extensively because most of my day was spent at my office. And there I was able to differentiate between the pros and cons of the two different operating systems. And the more I used Linux, the cons I have heard about it started to feel like myths and the pros became the reason of my final step where i completely switched from windows to linux so here are the seven main reasons because of which i have decided to move from windows to linux operating system most of the versions of linux often referred as distributions or distros are 100% free and readily available on the web for download and use we do not have to purchase a license for them as Linux and most of its software operate under GNU slash general public license. Even those distributions that comes with a price tag like the commercial version of popular Red Hat Enterprise Linux are significantly more affordable than other proprietary operating systems. And in such cases, users pay for the support and service, not for the Linux operating system. Upon installing any Linux distributions, all the essential software needed by both beginner and advanced users comes pre-installed. This stands in a stark contrast to proprietary operating systems, where we have to face charges for licenses, proprietary software installed in them, and OS upgrade. While the saying, you get what you pay for, holds true in many scenarios, Linux defines this notion. If Linux is robust enough for the leading companies in the tech industry, it unquestionably meets the standards of home computer usage. Although we do not have to pay a hefty amount for using Windows 10 nowadays, as it is now freely available for download from Microsoft official website, but there is a saying, if you are not paying for the product, then you are the product. In the case of Microsoft, they offer the operating system for free but we the users and our data becomes the commodity which is sold to the advertisers and other third-party companies you might think that this same phrase should go for linux operating systems as well right because if we are not paying for the product then we might be the product but there is a catch this statement does not directly apply to linux because linux is not a commercial product like Microsoft Windows or Apple's Mac. Linux is open source and its development is driven by a community of volunteers and organizations. Being open source means that anyone can get the Linux source code for free and if necessary, read it as well as modify it. It also makes Linux much more secure compared to the closed source options because whenever there is a vulnerability issue, there are thousands of eyes looking for those vulnerable codes or bugs. And as soon as people find them, they are immediately patched or fixed. Whereas companies like Microsoft or Apple solely rely on their in-house developers and security analysts. You might have noticed that whenever we install Windows, we have to download or purchase an antivirus program to keep our computer safe from hackers and malwares which adds up to the cost as well as bloats our system. On the other hand, Linux is much more secure out of the box. Though it does not mean that it is not a subject to hacking, it is just that Linux's package management system, repositories and other characteristics are built in such a way that they make it more difficult to compromise than other operating systems. Secondly, bad actors also do not target Linux systems because the percentage of user is very less compared to Windows and Mac. Plus, Linux is built with security and privacy in mind. It does not collect our data and does not include 
any built-in advertising, trackers, backdoors or spying softwares. As operating system evolve, their hardware requirements also increase rapidly. For example, if you want to install Windows 10 or Windows 11, you have to meet a minimum hardware requirement for successful installation. However, with Linux, you can even revive and utilize your oldest computer system to achieve the same task. Thanks to its lightweight nature, Linux runs faster than both Mac and Windows. Linux boasts excellent compatibility with wide range of hardware and software. It supports various architectures including x86, ARM and PowerPCs among others. Additionally, Linux's modular design allows us to remove unnecessary components which further enhances the performance of the system. Linux operating systems, which are deeply rooted in open source development, presents us with an unparalleled level of customization, offering a plethora of choice in terms of distribution and desktop environments. This unique feature is a testament to flexibility and freedom that Linux provides us. Unlike traditional operating systems that comes with one-size-fit-all packages, Linux offers specialized distributions tailored to different user preferences and needs. Whether you are a developer, system administrator, or a casual user, there is a Linux distro designed to cater your specific requirement. For example, Ubuntu or Linux Mint is for user-friendly experience. CentOS or Red Hat Enterprise Linux is for enterprise-level stability and Arch or Gentoo Linux is for those who prefer a DIY approach. The freedom to choose a desktop environment is another distinctive characteristic of Linux. Unlike closed source operating systems that dictate a standard interface, Linux allows us to select from various desktop environments such as GNOME, KDE, XFC and many more. Each desktop environment comes with its own set of features, aesthetics and functionalities providing us with the power to create a personalized computing environment. Linux operating systems also exhibit unparalleled stability and reliability. The foundational strength of Linux lies in its monolithic kernel, a robust core that skillfully manages system resources, reducing crashes and ensuring consistent performance. This design choice prioritizes stability without compromising essential functionalities. Linux's modular architecture and open source nature further enhances its reliability. We can customize our systems by selecting only the necessary components, which minimizes potential points of failure and optimizes efficiency. This adaptability ensures that Linux systems remain dependable under extremely diverse use case scenarios. Linux empowers us with unparalleled control over our computing environment distinguishing it from other operating systems. This control extends in various facets including configurations, software installation, and system updates and upgrades. This flexibility allows us to create a computing environment that aligns with our preferences and requirements. Linux's package management system simplifies the control over software. We can effortlessly install, remove, or update software packages using it, ensuring a streamlined and efficient process. Perhaps most notably, Linux places control over updates directly into our hands. Unlike certain operating systems that enforces automatic updates, Linux allows us to decide when or how we want to update our systems. This not only prevents disruption during critical tasks, but also reflects Linux's commitment to user autonomy. Linux operating systems stand out for its extensive documentation and robust community support, contributing to its reputation as a user-friendly and well-supported operating system. Documentation plays a pivotal role in assisting us in navigating the intricacies of a Linux operating system. Linux in this regard excels by providing comprehensive and easily accessible documentation. We can find detailed guides, manuals, and troubleshooting resources covering a wide range of topics. This wealth of information ensures that both beginners and experienced users can harness the full potential of their Linux systems. But what sets Linux apart is a vibrant and engaging community. A global network of users, developers, and enthusiasts 
actively participates in forums, discussion groups, and online communities dedicated to Linux. This collective knowledge pool creates a dynamic support system where we can seek guidance, share experience, and troubleshoot our issues. The Linux community's collaborative spirit fosters a sense of inclusivity and camaraderie. Moreover, this community-driven nature of Linux results in timely update, patches, and innovative solutions. When users encounter challenges or have specific queries, they can rely on the community to provide insightful responses. This collaborative ethos not only enhances our user experiences but also contributes to the continuous improvement of the entire Linux ecosystem. So there you have it my friends, 7 reasons that propelled me to make the switch. If you have made the jump from Windows to Linux or considering it, share your thoughts in the comments below. Thanks for tuning in to Nix Nexus. We will catch you up in the next video. Until then, keep learning, keep tinkering and keep embracing the power of open source.